Hey everyone, so it's the MLG Fuser here, and the other day I was searching eBay, and I really wanted to get the Halo 3 Special Edition Xbox 360, um, and I came across one listing that uh, the guy wanted 14 bucks, and so that was pretty cheap, but he wasn't able to test it, and so I thought, well, I'll just gamble because it's a really low price, um, and I wasn't actually paying attention too much to the pictures, and so when I got it, I saw all the damage done to the outside. And so now I'm just going to show you um, the different parts of the console and what condition they're in. So first we have the face plate here. And uh, it's not too bad except for the end which has a very large and noticeable crack. Um, other than that it is missing one of the uh, memory unit doors. And it's mostly fine on the exterior but uh, on the interior you can see the crack more here. A couple of the plastic notches for the power button are broken. Let's see. This one here and that one there are both broken. Uh, sync button's just fine. These doors are fine. Let me flip this over. Uh, it looks like someone spilled something in here. You can see it on that upper edge. There's a lot of random gunk. So uh, we'll be removing that later and uh, on to the next part. So here we have one of the um, exterior plates and um, these side plates are actually looking alright exteriorly there's no, no real damage on the uh, exterior of this plate but uh, the clips on the inside are not in very good condition this one's broken that one is also broken there's not even a clip there and there should be there's not one there that one works and then this one is also broken now we'll go take a look at the other plate. And so here is the other plate, and this is where your hard drive would sit, obviously. Um, on the outside, it's for the most part fine, except for right here. Let's see if we can see it. There's like a bit of a bit of a scuff mark. Looks like someone tried to open it somehow and did not do a very good job. So, yep, that's not too good. Uh, the clips, this one is coming off at the bottom just like that. This one is broken, this one is also broken. On the other side we have a broken one here, that one works, and that one also works. So overall uh, it's not too bad, people aren't going to be seeing the clips obviously, so as long as it stays in, it'll look fine. Now I'll be showing you uh, the actual parts of the console. So here's the bottom shell, and um, let's just get that in frame, there we go. So it's not looking too bad on the inside anyways. But uh, the clips on here are not very good. They've been scuffed up in this entire back edge here. Especially right where the power supply is. You can tell there's a piece of plastic hanging down. So whoever owned this before, it looks like they either opened it or tried to open it. But they did not do a very good job and have really ruined the plastic. So I'll be filing down most of the rough edges. And uh, I'll show you that later in the video. But these clips over here, um, they're also a tad bit broken. And scuffed up so there's not really much you can do about the clips themselves I'm just gonna have to move on anyways the ports are all fine all the port slots anyways are fine um, yeah that looks fine too the holes are fine they just need some cleaning now the bottom is really looking fine on the inside nothing really too bad um, the front the front's really fine there's no major marks or anything there's a little bit of the warranty sticker on there but that's about it. Um, now let's take a look at the bottom. So the bottom, for the most part, looks fine, but it is missing the O in Xbox right here, so that's a bit of a bummer, but I'll probably just sand that out and uh, I'll lay this console horizontally, that way that won't show. So uh, yeah, that's it for the bottom plate. Here is the face plate itself, and um, it's not really too bad. First things first though, you can notice that we're missing a couple of screw ports here and right over here. Those have both broken off, so it's not too good. Um, there is a very fair amount of dust in this gap right here. So right in between the uh, metal frame and the plastic, there's a lot of dust in there. Person could have possibly been a smoker, I don't really know. But uh, yeah, so that's not too great, but uh, these clips are intact, that one's fine. That one's fine, that one's fine, that one's fine. Sides looking okay, it's looking just fine. 
And uh, the back is a bit scuffed up because this is obviously where the back clips attach. And uh, whoever owned this before did not do a very good job of opening this at all. So that's not too good. Um, those holes are fine. It's just going to be sanded down again because it definitely needs it. Um, I'll take a look at the actual exterior. So it's not looking too bad. Um, oh, the, at least the O isn't missing here. So that's good. Um, yeah, all the uh, Halo 3 design on here is still here. And I definitely like the uh, design that they chose for this Halo 3 360 because it looks very nice. Um, other than that though, yeah, it's all uh, looking fine. And so uh, we'll move on to the main console itself. And so first, uh, before we actually do the main console, I figured I'd show the disk drive. And um, it is functional, but I haven't actually tested for it to read disks, so I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, so yeah, it's uh, looking fine on the bottom here. There's some dust, and it's kind of what I expected. The cables are all fine. And the main thing that yeah, I really care about is actually these front plates. And they still have a nice shine to them, but you can tell that there's some silver showing through on the uh, plate here. So the eject button's fine, but yeah, there's a lot of silver coming through on this uh, plate here, so that's a bummer. But uh, we'll move on to the main console now. So here's the main bulk of the 360 here. Uh, we have our coolers here, our shroud for the fans, our fans in back, and uh, let's just see the condition. So these, the power port is fine, the uh, HDMI port's fine, video cable port is fine, Ethernet, USB, those are all looking good. Uh, the main board itself looks a-okay, and uh, let's see, there are still the eight screws on the bottom, which is good, because no one put uh, bolts and washers in there for Red Ring of Death, which is good, so that means that this console has not had that yet, because it powers on just fine, so front plate's looking fine, and uh, you got your two USB ports there, and that's really about it. All right, so I'm just uh, going to show you how to unscrew everything real quick so we can clean off the metal frame. So I believe you're going to need a T8, find one of those, and possibly a T10. So I'm just going to have both here. Do these first two on the front plate. There's one screw. Um, I'd recommend setting these into some sort of container um, or something else like that. Alright, so let me just uh, get off this plastic front plate and we can just set that aside. And there's one more screw hidden underneath that, so I'll we'll unscrew that and uh, we'll, then we'll pull it off. There goes that. And so I'll be right back. I have this little uh, question mark container here that I'm going to put the screws in and uh, put the face plate in there also and all the other screws that we get. Alright, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is remove this fan shroud and this comes out really easily. So we can just set that aside and we'll also be cleaning that too. Alright, so I'm actually going to now remove the fan at this point after I have all the screws undone. And so I think I'll just take a small flathead and pry away at the uh, little clip holding the connector in. There we go. It's now free. I'd recommend being very gentle on that because you could ruin the board if you put too much pressure. So, connector is free and now we'll remove the main board. So now we're going to start unscrewing all these screws on the base of this console. And we'll also remove the front board. It just unplugs just like that. And so it's pretty easy to get out and set that aside. And so, on the bottom it looks like we have a mixture of T10s and T8s. So I'll be using this uh, T10 first. And I'm going to just get out all the silver screws. Now, you don't want to do everything upside down like this because otherwise the console will just fall right out. So make sure that for the last eight, uh, with, when I do those, I'm going to make sure that I don't do it this way so that way the console doesn't just fall flat on its face. Alright, so now we are down to the last eight screws here, so I'm just going to prop it up sideways here. And uh, I'll be unscrewing them sideways like this. I'm also going to have my hand behind the board. That way it cannot fall out once I get up the last screw. All 
All right, and so uh, now we're just gonna pull up the main board. So you're gonna wanna be careful here as you do this, obviously. And uh, the board should come out fairly easily. Let's get that out, and uh, there's the main motherboard. So we're gonna set that aside, and now we'll go out and pull the fan. All right, and so now we're going to just remove the fan from the base, and you may have to pull up on this uh, metal clip here a little bit. And let's see. Oh, there's. All right, there we go. It's basically just these two little prongs here that uh, go through to the metal frame, and so it may get stuck on one of those, but you'll get it out eventually. So just be gentle and uh, pry gently. As you can see with these fans, though, there is a whole lot of dust on these, so these are definitely going to get cleaned. And uh, yeah, it's uh, not looking good at all. As for the mainframe itself, it's uh, not too dirty. There's a lot of dirt near the fan vents, but uh, that's not bad. We'll be washing this up, and then it should be just as good as new. All right, so now I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to use to sand down the rough edges and. So here I have a couple of files here. I have a rat tail file and then this triangular shaped file. I also have a piece of fine grit sandpaper. You don't want anything that's too coarse because it may scratch your plastic and make it not look good. I'm also going to be using this flat file here too. First I'm just going to take a look at the face plate and um, it's really looking fine. There's not uh, really anything that needs to be sanded. This crack here is going to be glued later so that's not too big of an issue and uh, all the edges are nice and smooth. Now for the bottom side plate, I'm actually just going to file down the places where the clips broke. And so, I'm going to start off with my triangular file and just lightly file down on that edge. Alright, so that's uh, looking fairly good. I'm just going to now take some sandpaper and finish it up. Alright, so that's uh, nice and smoothed out, and now we'll go ahead and proceed to do that on the other clips. Now you can tell that all our uh, rough edges have been nice and smoothed out. This one here, this one right here, and then this one up here, a lot of the plastic was actually pulled out along with the clip, so I just sanded down that general area. So on the plate where the hard drive is, um, as I was talking about earlier, there's this edge sticking up here, so I'm just going to file that down. And right now I'm actually going to switch to a triangular file, that way I don't sand away too much the surrounding area. Alright, so it's pretty smooth now, but uh, I am going to be gluing the little crack that it has later, and I'll also be gluing this clip later. Alright, All right, so we now have the bottom half of the console. Um, let's see here. So we really just need to sand these clips probably with some sandpaper just a little bit and we also need to sand up right over here where the power port is. Alright, so the edges are about as good as I'm going to get. This one was already pretty scratched up and beat up, so it's just been smoothed out. These are nice and smooth now, and these clips are, for the most part, looking a lot better. Um, so just before we go ahead and wash these, I just want to show that you're going to have to break a couple little plastic nubs that hold down the uh, metal frame to the plastic plate. So I'm going to go ahead and get a box cutter and just slice it off. Alright, so before we get any further into the cleaning, um, you're also going to need a toothbrush, 
probably a magic eraser if you have scuff marks and then some dish soap and then I'll show you uh, how I clean them and we'll move on from there. Alright so then what we're going to do is we're going to just rinse off all the uh, main dust clogging these vents here. So I'll just turn on the sink. Just do a basic washing. Get off all the main dust. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to wet the toothbrush and then put on some dish soap. And it's a pretty simple process from here, you just scrub it out. Alright, so right now I'm just about to glue the uh, cracks and fractures, so I'm just using some JB Weld, clear weld. This one um, sets in five minutes and then fully cures in an hour, so that's really fast and it's also clear. So, I'm just going to mix it up. So right now I'm just about to fix a couple of the plastic rods that hold in the power button. And so I'm just going to epoxy glue those up and then uh, we'll be good to go. Alright, so right now I'm going to show you how I dust off the front faceplate board. Uh, the main motherboard and the fan. You will either need a can of compressed air, which you can buy at a lot of electronic stores, or you will need an air compressor that is able to be charged up. Alright, so now I'll be doing the fan. I'm basically going to be holding the blades in place while I spray the compressed air on it. So that wraps up this segment. Now we'll go up and uh, clean off the caked on dust on the motherboard, the front board, and the fans. All right, so in this part of the video, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to clean up the caked on dust on the motherboard, and the front board, and the fan. So first, we're gonna need some Q-tips. 
And then you're also going to need some rubbing alcohol. So this is 91%. I use higher percent because I think it does a better job. Anyways, you're just going to take some of this, the Q-tip there, and just kind of let it soak into the top of the Q-tip. And then we can put a little bit more on there. All right, there we go. That's about good. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take the side here, for example, the side of this cooler, and you're just going to wipe it off. And I think I'm going to end up switching over to a microfiber rag because this is not really going to get off that much of the dust because it's so small. All right, so I'll be back in one second. So for cleaning the actual main board here, I just want to show you that what I do is take some rubbing alcohol in a syringe. I put that onto a cotton ball, just a fair amount, and then just rub it across the main board. Alright, so at this point I think you kind of understand what you do on the main motherboard, and so I'm going to do the rest off camera. Alright, so now that we've dealt with the main motherboard, I'm just going to start doing the front board. So, it's really a Q-tip, and we're really only going to use the Q-tip on this port on the back. Now you could use it all around if you like, but I'm just going to use a cotton ball for that. Set that aside, put that down. All right, so this takes us to the last part, which is the fan. So I'm going to start off with a cotton ball. This is my alcohol, we're just gonna rub around the sides and get off all that gunk. So right now, I'm actually just going to take apart the disk drive. Yeah, so let's take it apart. So there are four Phillips head screws in the back here, and I'm going to unscrew. So we have the first plate off, I'll just set that aside.
so at this point um, I've cleaned both shells again and as you can see right here on the power port it is looking a lot better but it's still not perfect but oh well so now um, I'm going to put it back together and then we'll uh, play some Halo 3 Fly over the wall. We'll go right through it. Take one of the tanks. Lead the way. If you find any locked doors, Spark will be happy to pry them open. I will certainly try my best. Can I am familiar with this facility. All right then. You heard the lady. Go! I see it. Go, Skidbound! Hey, go. how does 90 millimeters of tungsten strike you? I'm on your side.
All squads, report! Multiple contacts. Unknown hostiles. Here! Move in the air! We're surrounded, Sergeant! <laughs> 